question using divisibility test determine which of the following numbers are divisible by 4 divisible by 8 so you have to check for same number as yes, for two numbers divisible by 4 and divisible by 8 okay so first number a question 572 so first you divisible by s yes, divisibly by divisibility by s yes, 4 first divisibility by 4 by 4 so here yeah, check the yes, last two number formed by last two digits if the number formed by last two digits is a multiple of 4 then that number is divisible by 4 ok here 72 72 ok so you have to check whether the 72 is a multiple of 4 or not ok 1 times 4 3 remainder 32 8 times as 4 8 are 32 remainder 0 so remainder is 0 so 72 is a multiple of 4 72 is a multiple of 4 so this number is this 572 so 572 is divisible by 4 then next check it by 8 ok divisibility by 8 divisibility by 8 hope all of you understood ok so there last number formed by last 3 digits so here 3 digit number so take it as ok 572 ok 572 so divide by 8 ok how many times uh, yes, 7 8 is 56 is 1 7 minus 6 1 is 12 so yeah 1 time is 8 4 remind so 572 is is not a multiple of 8 so 572 is not divisible by 8 divisible by 8 so remainder 4 if remainder is 0 then that number is divisible by 8 ok hope all of you understood next number b question 7 lakh 26352 here also first divisibility by 4 divisibility by 4 So, here yeah, last digit is the number formed by last two digits 52. So, you have to check whether 52 is a multiple of okay, 4. 1 time 4, 1, 12, 3 times. Okay, 0. Reminder is 0. Yes, 52 is a multiple of is a multiple of 4. So, this number is divisible by divisible by 4 ok check it with the divisibility by 8 ok divisibility by 8 ok so, I have to the number formed by last three digits. So, here number formed by last three digits is, is 352. Okay. 352, you have to check whether the 352 is a multiple of 8 or not. Okay. 352. 8. Okay. 4 times is 32. Is 3 reminder. Again, 32. 4 times 32. So, reminder is 0. So, 352 is a multiple of 8. Okay. 352 is a multiple of 8. So, this number is divisible by 8. Hope all of you understood. Okay. Then check it that third, third number is C question 5500. Here first divisibility by 4. Okay, divisibility by 4.
One more method to find the number is divisible by 4. So here last two, here number formed by last two digits. Here yeah? both the places are 0. Both places are 0. So you can, as this number is divisible by 4. Okay. Known method also there. Okay. The number formed by the last two digits is a multiple of 4 or the both the places can as we have zeros. Both, both the places, one sentence places as a zero digits then zero then the number is divisible by four okay so uh, how you write this is last s the last two digits are zeros so this number is divisible by a four okay number is divisible by four then check it with it yes divisibility by eight okay hope all of you understood then next to divisibility by eight so here is 500 is 500 you have to check whether 500 is a multiple of eight okay six eights are 48 is to remind it 20 is a two sa sixty is four reminder. Four reminder. Is four is the reminder. So this number is you know, it's not a multiple of eight. So five hundred is not a multiple of eight. So this number is not divisible by eight. Not divisible by 8. Hope all of you understood. Okay. Then uh, D question 6000. Here also is yes, the last two digits have uh, zeros. Okay. Last two digits are zeros. So this number is divisible by 4. The last two digits are zeros. So this number is number is divisible by four. Then what about divisibility by eight? So here also the last three digits are zeros. Last three digits are zeros. So this number is divisible by eight. The last three digits are zeros. So this number is divisible by is divisible by Eight. Hope all of you understood. Do remaining questions of question number two as homework. Next, year, third question. Using divisibility test, determine which of the following numbers are divisible by six. So here, okay, you have to check the divisibility by six. First, question is two lakh ninety-seven thousand hundred and forty-four. So what's the is you have to check it whether the number is divisible by 2 and 3 both. So first it is check it for divisibility by 2. Then check it for divisibility by 3. If the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then the number is divisible by 6. Okay. So here first divisibility by 8. Here last is once digit in once place is 4. Okay. So this number is divisible by Okay. Divisibility by two. Okay. Four is in one's place. So this number is divisible by. 
this number is divisible by 2. Then divisibility by 3. So you have to take the sum. Sum equals S2 plus 9 plus 7 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4. Okay. 2 plus 9 how much? Is 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. 18 plus 1 is 19. 19 plus 4 is 23. 23 plus 4 is 27. So 27 is a multiple of 27 is a multiple of 3. So this number is divisible by 3. is divisible by 3. Hope all of you understood. So this number is divisible by both 2 and 3. Then it is divisible by 6. Then this number is divisible by divisible by 6. Hope all of you understood. So you have to check it by the the number is divisible by 2 and 3 both. If the number is divisible by 2 and 3 both, then the number is divisible by 6. Hope all of you understood. Next should be question is 1258. So here last is one's place. Digit in one's place is 8. So divisibility by 8. 2. First divisibility by divisibility by 2. 8 is in 1's place. So this number is divisible by 2. So this number is divisible by 2. Divisible by 2. Okay. So here yeah, then check it for divisibility by 3. Divisibility by You have to take the sum. Sum equals S1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 8. Okay, 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 is not a multiple of. 16 is not a multiple of 3. So, it is not divisible by it is not divisible by 3 okay how you then how you write okay yes that number then then it is not divisible by not divisible by 6 Hope all of you understood. Here only this number is only divisible by 2. So the number is not divisible by 6. Then next uh, C question is 4335. So it's the last digit is a is 5. 5 is not divisible by 2. Then check it for 3. Okay. Divisibility by 2. Five is in one's place. So this number is not divisible by 2. The next is divisibility by 3. So first take the sum. 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5. Okay. 4 plus 3 7. 7 plus 3 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. Yes. 15 is a multiple.
multiple of 3 so it is divisible by by 3 but it is not divisible by 6 not divisible by 6 but it is not divisible by 6 here only 2 so the number is not divisible by 6 sorry number is only divisible by 3 so the number is not divisible by 6 okay then next to d question x 61233 okay so here s last s one's place is digit in one's place is 3 so this number is not divisible by 2 so you have to write divisibility by Three is in one's place. So this number is not divisible by not divisible by two. So this number is not divisible by six. So then above question also you can if it is not divisible by 2 then no need to do the divisibility by 3 you can directly write but it is not divisible by 6 okay. So this uh, it is not divisible uh, by 2 so this number is not divisible by 6 and here the question is 9 lakh is 1352 so here last digit is one digit in one's place is 2 so it is divisible by 2 then check it for 3 2 is in one's place so this number is divisible by by 2 then divisibility by 3 divisibility by 3 okay so yeah so you have to take a sum sum equals 9 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2 okay 9 plus 0 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 3 13, 13 plus 5, 18, 18 plus 2, 20. Okay, 20 is not a multiple of 3. So, this number is not divisible by 3. Not a multiple of 3. So, this number is not divisible by Then it is not divisible. Children, like that, you do these questions as homework in your notebook. Okay. Then next question. Fourth question. Using divisibility test to determine which of the following numbers are divisible by 11. So here you have to check the divisibility by 11. Hope all of you understood how to check how to check the number is divisible by 11 or not. So first number a question is 5445. So first you have to arrange or classify the numbers according as numbers having digits at odd places and digits at even places. Okay. So first you write the number once again, then it's classify the digits. First place is as odd, second place is even place, then third place, odd place, is last fourth place, even place. Then next what is this next step? You have to take the sum of the digits at S odd places. Sum of the digits at odd places. Digit at digits at odd places. So yeah, S odd places is 5 plus is 4 equals it's 9. Okay. 
then take a sum of the digits in sum of the digits at even places even places so here also is the same is okay 5 plus 4 equals yeah then let's take the difference difference equals is 9 minus 9 0 so this number is divisible by 11 so is 5445 is divisible by 11 hope all of you understood how to check the number divisible by 11 or not next to be question is 10824 okay so here first is yes, arrange the digits according to even places and the odd places okay so first you write the number once again so first place is odd place second place even place is third place odd place is then again even place then odd place so then take the sum of the digits sum of the digits at odd places at odd places so here first is 4 plus is 8 plus slash you work okay 4 plus 8 is 12 12 plus 1 is 13 then take the sum of the digits at even places sum of the digits at even places okay so first digit is 2 plus is 0 equals 2 okay then take the is difference Difference equals is 13 minus 2 equals 11. So, 11 is a multiple of 11. So, this number. So, is 10,824 is divisible by 11. Divisible by 11. Next to see question is here is you have to check the number divisible by 11 or not. So first is yes, you have to write the number once again. 7, 1, 3, 8, 9, 6, 5. Okay, so first place is, is old place. This is even place. Again old, even, again old, even, again old. Okay, then take the sum of the digits at old places. Sum of the digits at old places. equals is the first digit is 5 plus the second digit is 9 plus is third digit is 3 plus it's again 7 okay 5 9 3 7 okay 5 plus 9 is 14 14 plus 3 is 17 17 plus 7 is 24 Okay, then sum of the digits at even places. Sum of the digits at even places. So, yeah, first digit is a 6 plus. Is a second digit 8 plus. Then next year is 1. 6, 8, 1. Okay, 6 plus 8 is 14, 14 plus 1 is 15. Okay, then take the difference. Difference equals is 24 minus 15. Okay, you have to subtract 24 minus 15. Okay, 14 is 9, okay, 1, 0. So, answer is 9. So, no, not divisible by. So, this number is not divisible by 11. Not divisible by 11. Hope all of you understood how to check whether a number is divisible by 11 or not. Like that, do these questions as homework in your maximum. Hope all of you understood today's class. Thank you.